Fuck, no attention to you, Gregor. Oh shit, she's from behind. Coming up white, coming up white. Bottom, uh, white, top white stairs, just holding an ang, just holding an ang. Wait time. She's still holding an angle. She got cam. I think she's in bathroom. Yep. Wait, plant. Pixel. Should be your A bomb side. Piano, piano couches. Running a cigar. She has her secondary out. She has her secondary out. Going to new battle. Nice job, bro. Nice. Good shit, Greg. Let's go, Greg. Good Greg job. Paul, bro. No, no Craig. Paul. There we go. All right. <laughs>I don't really know how many of you are into competitive siege. I, I really don't. You know, so, sometimes I feel like you guys get what I'm saying in my videos, and then other times I think a lot of people just kind of just kind of space out when I start saying words like hard support, soft support, and that's reflected in the chat to a certain extent. You can see a lot of people are very confused. So I'll try to explain it to the best of my ability because there are a lot of differences between a competitive game of Rainbow Six and a ranked game of Rainbow Six, which is what I have been playing exclusively to get footage for my videos. Don't worry, it's not as sweaty as you think. He's saving KD. Fuck. <laughs> yeah, we got it. You're out of time. Around. Uh, it's the windows going like a dumbass. <laughs> Their tournament's called the Open Siege Series, and they're hosted every Sunday, and you sign up for them by becoming a part of a team on faceit.com. Anyone, I mean anyone, coppers to champion, can enter into these tournaments. It's round-based. You win one game, you advance to the next one. You lose, you're out. Did I mention it's not as serious as you think? <laughs> trying to make a smile. <laughs> In recoil. <laughs> The rules are very different to ensure the most competitive experience possible. Matches are longer, up to 12 rounds, and you swap off at 6 rounds between attack and defense. The pick phase is a lot faster at 15 seconds, and there is also a reveal phase that lasts 5 seconds that allows you to see what the enemy team is bringing. One player on each team can do what is called a 6 pick, in which they swap from one operator to the other right before the round starts. There are no points... You can't see if you've injured somebody, planted the bomb, blew up this, blew up that. And you play on competitive maps. The competitive map pool consisting of consulate, organ, cafe, club, villa, coastline, and theme park. Which means no canal, chalet, or outback. I know, some of you are already really excited to play already. And everyone has to run Moss Anti-Cheat. Which is a hell of a lot better than Battle Eye, apparently. These are some of the most fun games of Rainbow Six Siege that I've played in recent memory, even if I am taking them super seriously. I love the competitive environment, and I feel like I am playing the version of the game that is meant to be played, not the weird version that is ranked. There's something about the competitive environment that makes everybody play as if there's a lot at stake, and it makes them kind of tighten up a little bit and really focus on their comms, teamwork, and other forms of chemistry that help a team win a game. Sometimes, the round really isn't over until it's over. Oh, sh- oh, man. That's Whoa, later, dude. Oh, fuck. Uh, 50 HP, 50 HP. I'm watching hallway. On the right side, on the right side. I'm dedicated hallway. Call me. Oh, hold you got us the cam, I can watch it. There's one freezer, I think. No, she didn't see me. Cross left, she's back in the middle. Barbed wire, backside, blue. backside. I'm dead. Uh, 2v2, 2v2, he's pushing. Nice. nice. That's a fuse. That's a fuse. That's a fuse. Oh, there we go. Oh my God. Oh, shit on him. Fuck. Whoa. Good job. What just happened? What just what happened? What is he doing? This guy downed somebody with his thingy, and then all of a sudden he what killed him with fuck? his thingy. Goodness <laughs> gracious. I'm a support player on the team, and I'm usually playing operators like Kali and Mute. I say Kali and not Thatcher because Thatcher is pretty much an insta ban nowadays. And right now, Kali's gadget is really the only reasonable alternative to Thatcher's EMPs 
whenever you need wall control. On a map like Oregon that's heavily reliant on wall control, you pretty much need to bring her. Her sniper is never going to stop being clunky and obtuse to use, but no weapon in the game currently is as good at punishing people who try to peek you when they shouldn't. I'm pretty sure you can walk the main for free right now. I didn't see anyone. Hey, one's playing, one's playing blue and one's pillar hallway. Bandit down. Oh, that's bandit down. One pillar, one pillar. The smoke. Down laundry, down laundry. That's them. Got him, got him, got him. Planting. Hey, he got me closet, closet. Push down, rotate, rotate. Last one's closet, closet. closet. last one's closet. Thanks, Good. Nice execution, Friendly. guys. Playing in this environment will also kind of cleanse your ranked brain, if that makes any sense. If you're playing a whole lot of ranked and you're really focused on your KDR, well, once you get into a comp environment like a tournament, you're going to care a lot less about that and you're going to care a lot more about getting on cameras and making appropriate callouts that, in hindsight, your team probably would not have been able to win the round as easily if you don't make those calls. It will reinforce in the back of your mind that Rainbow Six Siege is a team-based game. It's more like a square dance than a break dance. Plant right here, attic, attic, attic. Corner. attic right now. You can here you can see my dad have no idea what the fuck I'm talking about. Sun Tzu said in the Art of War that the battle is already decided before it starts. And in terms of drones and cameras, that's a very good comparison to make. In my first coaching session with my buddy Shade, who I've done a video with in the past, you can check that out in the info card, he told me that Intel is God. Constant comms. That is the golden standard that you will find across every successful competitive Rainbow Six team. Co uh, cocktail, new uh, heaven, heaven, heaven door. I'm watching heaven. Cocktail, heaven door. Yeah, yeah, he's stuck there. He's dead. Is that that's smoke? That's smoke. That's smoke. That's smoke. Shit. Nice shot. Good shit. Hell, dude. Now, if I was playing ranked and I pulled this kill off that I showed you at the beginning of the video, they would probably think that I just threw it over there haphazardly and made a lucky guess. I did, but I made a much more educated guess than people think because Justin was constantly feeding me call-outs. Pixel? Now, Justin calls out Pixel, despite Pixel being way the fuck over here and me being all the way in bar. What's the point in that? He's not giving me that info to give up my position and swing and go for the kill. He's just giving me that info because of a very simple principle. Me knowing where Kali is in 100% of circumstances is more helpful to me than not knowing where she is. Be your A bomb. So piano, piano couches. Piano, piano couches. I know that she's going to the right and will eventually end up in cigar if she keeps up at this rate. So I throw a smoke bomb. Running cigar. The round's already over at this point. She has her secondary out. She has her secondary out. Going to new battle. Nice. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> nice. Good sh Greg. Let's go, Greg. Good Greg job. Paul, bro. No, nah, Craig, there we go. And that's what's behind the scenes that a lot of people take for granted in Siege. It truly made me reappreciate what I liked about this game when I first started getting into it. Now, that doesn't mean that I know what the f I'm doing all the time. I'm not going to blow smoke up my own ass. Oh my god. Bruh. 20 seconds. Oh, you got Prep nice. Up above. Watch out from above. 15 seconds left. He's gonna be red. He's gonna be red stairs. To your right, Greg. To your right. Just hold your right. Time Close to the shotgun. He's Main peeking Zeph. Peeking Zeph. Peeking Zeph. Don't peek. Don't peek. Five seconds remaining. Don't peek. Don't, don't peek, Greg. I peeked. But it was okay. Oh! It worked out. Oh, it worked out. Wow. That was so close. It worked out. <sighs> yeah, someone screenshot it. Screenshot to top frag. Not everyone's gonna enjoy it because of the comp rules, but if you're interested in playing comp rules, this is a great opportunity to do so. I will leave a link to the Face It tournaments in the description of this video, and I'll do some weekly videos detailing our exploits. It's been a lot of fun so far, and I can't wait to do more. Check out my Twitch in the description too. What's dead? Nice. Okay, never mind. I won't Deuces. Rotate them. <laughs>